like I know I've said the word authenticity about 30 times, but I I, did, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like really just owning who you are. And I think this is true as an actor too, but I think just going, these are my skill sets. This is what I'm good at. This is how I contribute. And I think within our tribe, I'm like really realizing, like this is something I'm really realizing, especially recently. I'm like, oh yes, these are the things that I keep showing up to do naturally. So now I can know going forward, this is how I contribute best. Um, whether it's as a writer, like James and I are very different writers. Um, we do not have the same style. Our tone that we write in, like the words on the page are very similar, but our approach to writing is very different. And so it's also really wonderful to learn how two people who work very differently can cohesively work together on scripts and projects. Um, and uh, you know what, actually, I think I'm really getting better at, but would like to continue to improve on is, how do I put this? I guess writing. So as a writer, you write something on the page and you get really invested and connected to what it's going to look like. And then mm. you see it and yeah. you're like, that's not, <laughs> that's <laughs> yep. not what I had in mind. And I, I think I, this is really clicking recently and it's not about better or worse. It's just about things being different. And I think that there are some things that are worth fighting for and going, Hey, I really actually think that we need to like figure out a way to make this happen, but also allowing yourself to be surprised. Um, and this is for any part of the process, whether it's casting with your actors or, you know, I guess for me, it's like really like the casting process. I, I love being surprised. And then like, once you enter into post and like, you see that first assembly and you see the first round of edits and everything. Like I just, it can be really painful if you're a writer producer who like starts from like a blank page to the very end to go in and mm -hmm. think it's going to look the way that you envisioned in your head, especially if you're an indie filmmaker and you don't have a hundred million dollars. <laughs> right. um, <laughs> and so I think that especially if you're first starting out um, or even if you're not and you've been doing this for a while, but I just, uh, allow yourself to be surprised and that's okay. Yeah, that makes sense. There is, a, there is an adjustment period. Um, but again, it, if you have the right people, uh, like, like you have with James, you can, you can trust that the people that you're working with are going to help. Maybe, maybe it won't be a hundred percent, but it'll be at least, you know, maybe 90, 85%. And it's maybe some of the changes will be good. Uh, yeah, well, maybe. that's what I mean is I think that there have been times where like I and so like, even with Tough Love, my because I had written that and I was like, my mind was like, you know, like Jane the Virgin and like insecure, like I had all these references. And our final product is looks and feels nothing like that. And I think it is better for it. That's, mm -hmm. that's why I mean, it's not that I'm like, oh, I feel like we only reached 90% of the goal. It's that we did something ended up completely somewhere else because I was like, I trust James and Joey, our DP and, you know, Alistair edit, like I trusted our team to, this is part of what I love about teams is the collaboration of it. And so me going, I've done my part, this is how I've contributed. And now I'm excited to see what you envision with what we've done so far. And so I really love that part. It can also just you know, <laughs> it can be stressful at times, to be honest. But yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I agree yeah. with you. <laughs>